Hi, this is Quant Nawat. Welcome to my channel. So pretty often you want to backtest your strategy on multiple instruments on the same uh, time and just you're interested in how they all will work together. So in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to do that in Python using Backtrader. So if you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create more and better videos for you. So here I have a very simple uh, example of a strategy on a single stock. Uh, in Backtrader, I actually have a video where I created um, this uh, strategy for Backtrader. And it's very simple to simply move an average across strategy long only. So let's execute it uh, to see if it works. Um, let's create an engine. Let's add the data, run, uh, run the backtesting and just get the value. So you can, as you can see, we received some value, so it seems to work. So what you have to do to um, change the strategy to work on multiple instruments. So first thing is you have to add more uh, data sources uh, to, your, um, uh, to your engine. So in Backtrader, you can um, use multiple data sources to generate signals for single stocks, but also you can, you can actually trade multiple stocks at the same time as well. So let's do that. So first of all, I will create an array let's call it just stocks and let's add a few um, symbols of stocks I want to trade. So let's add Apple, um, I don't know, Microsoft, um, Amazon, let's add I know Tesla again and let's add you know Visa for example. So that's it. Um, now let's create a for loop where I will go through all my um, stocks and uh, for every stock I will uh, I will request um, data from uh, Yahoo from for the stock and after that I will add this data to my engine and I'll just uh, just in case add name to be equal to to my symbol. So that's basically it. Uh, now we have multiple stocks in our engine. Now let's go to and change the strategy to work with multiple stocks. So here is my uh, strategy and um, here you can see the logic uh, for initialization for single stock. Now I have to do this for multiple stocks. So what I do here, I compute two moving averages and after that I compute crossovers uh, between these two moving averages. So what I will do now, I will create um, uh, a, basically a list of crossovers for all my stocks. I will uh, name this um, self.crossovers and for now it will be just an empty array. And now I will do uh, basically this logic for all my datas in my engine. So I will do for all D in uh, self.datas. And um, up to that you have to specify um, data in your moving average that you want to use. So if you don't want to use like the first added data, you can specify your data as a first argument in your indicator um, function. So we computed uh, two moving averages for, for this uh, stock. So that's nice. And now let's just add, uh, so I will just append crossover between uh, these two moving averages to my list. So that's, that's it for initialization. So basically we went through all our stocks, computed uh, signals for all of them and saved it to self.crossover variables. So the last thing we have to do is to change uh, our uh, next uh, function uh, to update uh, order generation logic uh, for, uh, for the strategy. And idea pretty much is the same. We have this logic, but we have to run it for every stock in our list. So how to do that? So I will create another for loop and I will use uh, now a bit uh, different uh, syntax. I will use um, enumerate over um, our self datas. I, I, I need this to get both like index and data itself. Now let's add indent here and uh, now we have to change a bit this function we are using for single stock to function we will be using of will be using for the multiple stocks. So first of all, to, to check if we have position on on our uh, current stock, we can use um, self dot get positions uh, function with the d uh, as, as an argument, and after that we can check if the size is zero. That means that we don't have 
any positions um, for now. So also uh, we cannot use now self crossover. It's not available. Now we need to use this crossovers uh, variable, uh, this array. And after that, we need to just have to get uh, corresponding uh, like uh, correct index for the current stock. And this uh, for that, I will use I as an index. Also for the self uh, buy, we need to add that we want to buy uh, data and we have to specify data we want to buy. And the same thing for uh, for the close of positions, we have to choose to check like crossovers uh, uh, array and uh, with the I index. And uh, for the close also, we have to add uh, data. So that's basically it. Uh, our strategy is ready. And as you can see, uh, nothing uh, complicated here. It seems like I have for like a typo here. It should be get position without uh, this. So now let's go and execute uh, the strategy and just to check if it works. So let's create new engine. Let's add all the stocks uh, to our engine. Let's execute uh, the engine to see um, if it works. So it's done. Now let's let's go and uh, get the value. And as you can see, the value changed. So it's so it probably works. You can get all the usual you know like metrics you you want from the from uh, the analyzers uh, like you know like uh, analyzed return for example sharp and to check that we actually traded multiple stock at the same time we can go and uh, uh, get transaction uh, inside uh, inside our engine and here is a list of transaction and actually you can see that we actually traded multiple stocks so here for example tesla trade apple trade microsoft trade visa trade and so on so as you can see it works uh, pretty good so i think that's all for the city it was pretty simple example you can actually create much more complicated logic you probably can select you know like based on different factors just a few stocks from really big universe and trade them and um, things like that. But I think that can be a pretty good example for you how you can work with multiple uh, stocks uh, in um, Python. So thank you for watching, see you.